Over the years, we have placed keen interest in education by constructing and supporting schools within our concession areas, and also providing scholarships locally and internationally, and the results have been tangible. Liberians will eventually assume leadership of this company. Our objective is to make sure they are ready to assume it. What we are doing today in terms of training and other experts, we're trying to make sure that librarians are ready by a lot of in-house training. Uh, we want to make sure we have technocrats, basically, who we show uh, are able to run this operation. Today, an uh, example like the mill in uh, Tajuan, we have trained librarian engineers who were sent to Indonesia to, to, to prepare for the opening of this mill. 2013 was sent to Indonesia to actually be trained for palm oil mill construction first, that uh, carry up to six months. And we came back, we spent two months and they thought that uh, we went back again for palm oil mill operation. Yeah. So those, I mean, uh, those tools, you know, training actually, you know, equip me again. GV has created some capacity training for us here. Like the SAP I'm doing now, the standard application procedure. I did not learn the ATU, but when I came here, GV was able to train me. The budget system, the SBS, standard uh, budget system. We came here before GV was able to teach me. Now I can do budgeting system for GV, phase one, phase two, all the way to phase three. I got scholarship from GV to go back to school. GV is in the United Mental University College of Agriculture. I went there for three years study and I obtained an associate degree in general agriculture. Good opportunity for us. Our kids are going to school free of charge. They do everything, pay the teachers here, provide textbooks, provide water, learning material like the stationery here. In other schools like government schools, people pay money when they are taking tests. By GVS school, we just make a request for stationery and they provide us. 2018, there were no more caterpillar found in Buto or Tajo one to be used by GVO operators. So later on, I decided to say, but what? Since I found myself in the heavy detail department, I will take the truck. And how I started to learn the truck. I came to GVO uh, 2012, February 1st. I was hired and I came through the security department. First workshop manager. 2012, he told me that since you have a mechanical knowledge and you want to learn, you can leave the security and then you come to the workshop. He assigned me with a person, he said this person is your boss. And I was working with that particular guy. They call him Lai La Donso. I gave the glory to the Almighty God, but GV are the second. Because now, they empower me that, you know, I'm doing my work successfully, my bosses, all of them, they, are, they, they, they really like me doing my work.